Today we're learning Joshua 24, 24. This is one you're gonna draw along with me. We're gonna make the visual together. So you'll need some kind of colors. I have my colored pencils and my markers. Um, and you'll need a piece of paper and you'll need a place to work. Okay, let's go. Hi, I'm Miss Nancy Ruth. I'm a children's minister and the co-founder of Parent Road Ministries. We want to see kids living for Jesus. In this series, we're learning memory verses, key passages, and the books of the Bible. Links to the full playlist and related resources are in the description below. Let's get started. Let's start by writing the reference at the top of the page. J-O-S-H is an abbreviation for Joshua, then we want 24 colon 24. Remember that the chapter comes first before the colon and the verse comes after. Now, let's see, the first part of this verse says, So the people said to Joshua, I think for people, I'm going to do a whole bunch of circles to be faces, and I want to do them in a whole bunch of different colors. So I'm just going to pick a whole bunch of different colors. We're going to make a large group of people, because the crowd here was actually quite large. You see, the people that they're talking about were the people that came out of Egypt with Moses in the Exodus. These people came and they wandered in the desert for 40 years. And um, they had children and these children were all grown up now and had children of their own. And these, these um, children that had grown up, so the second, what they call that the second generation. So like their parents came out of Egypt and now they are parents themselves. These people um, were getting ready to go into the promised land. And Joshua had just, or Moses really, had just reviewed the whole law. Everything God told the people, how to worship Him, how to live, how to take care of each other, all of those things. They just reviewed all of those rules. In addition, God told them the consequences if they sinned, if they didn't follow what God wanted them to do. And Joshua had just finished all of this and he said, look, for me, I want to serve the Lord. I want to serve the one true God. And he was asking the people, are you going to serve God too? That's what this verse is all about. That decision we have to make. Are we going to follow the Lord or are we not? Okay, now that I've drawn the people, we need to draw Joshua. I'm just going to draw a stick figure here with a circle for a head. like that and then a line and then kind of an upside down V for his legs and a straight line for his arms. That's Joshua. So the verse we have so far says, So the people said to Joshua, We will worship the Lord our God. So we need to figure out how to draw the Lord our God. I think what I want to do here, um, I think of gold when I think of heaven because the Bible says there was there's a street of gold in heaven. So I'm going to grab my gold, just a sec, there it is, and I'm going to draw an arrow pointing up, a fat arrow. So there's my arrow pointing up. So the Lord our God, that's pointing up, and to remember it's not just up and it's the Lord, I'm going to draw a cloud to kind of remind me because God is up in heaven. So we will worship the Lord our God and obey Him. This is talking about more than just serving or more than just worshiping. It's talking about worshiping through serving. So how are we going to put that in a drawing? While I think about that, I'm going to be coloring in the arrow here with some yellow. And I think I'm going to color in his face, Joshua's face, with a light brown. Uh, how am I going to talk about worshiping by serving? Um, I think what I want to do... Both of those things come from our heart, and so I think I'm going to use a marker and draw a heart here to remind me that I'm worshiping by serving. I'm going to put an S in there. So, serving by worshiping. Okay, so the verse we have so far says, So the people said to Joshua, We will worship the Lord our God and obey Him. This verse is really interesting because it's not just about helping people, it's not just about singing worship songs and um, praying to God, but it also includes reading God's Word so that we know what God wants us to do. That's one of the primary ways we can hear His voice and um, 
then we put that into practice and obey what God says. I think that is so interesting. So I'm coloring this heart here as I'm thinking about how I'm going to put that in pictures. I think what I'm going to do, well, first I'm going to darken that S because I can't see it. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do is to start with a speech bubble because we're talking about hearing the voice of God. So coming from heaven goes up like this and has words inside it. Now, if you don't know what a speech bubble is, I'm going to show you that here in just a second. Um, but first, I'm going to draw a cloud to remind me that it's God speaking. And then to remind me that God speaks to us through his word, the Bible, I'm going to draw a Bible. But first, I want to show you how that speech bubble thing works. So like in a cartoon or something, you'll see two people kind of like this. I've just drawn quick stick figures here. So these two people are talking. Um, and here's our second person and they're talking so to show that like in a cartoon or a comic that you might read like um, on the internet or you know newspaper they have these speech bubbles it's kind of like a bubble here with the words that they're saying and that's how you know that they are speaking that's called a speech bubble and so that's what we used here to talk about God speaking to us and hearing his voice um, but like I said the primary way that God speaks to us is through the Bible through his word First, though, I think we're going to look at the obey part. Uh, it's not enough to just hear God's word, but to obey it, we get say, God, yes, I'm going to do what you asked me to do when we hear his voice through reading his word and things. So I'm going to give a thumbs up. Here's my thumb. I'm going to do it. Now, I'm going to start with an oval like this, and then I'm going to draw a triangle for the thumb. Then I'm going to add some lines for the wrist. Now that doesn't really look like a hand, even when I add the little finger markings things here, but it's a guide to start with. Then we round it out to make it look more like fingers. We're gonna make it look better. We're gonna come around out the thumb a little bit and color it in to hide our sketch marks there. And then it starts looking more like a real thumb. So I'm gonna check here, make sure that fits. I'm gonna put my thumb out here in a minute. Um, but also a reminder, it's not just thumbs up, yeah, that's good, but we're going to say, yes, I will do what you asked me to do. So here's my thumbs up saying, God, that is good. And yes, I will do what you asked me to do. And to remind myself of that, I'm going to even put the word yes on my paper. Yes. And I'm going to put in green letters like the go light on a stoplight or a traffic signal. I'm going to put green to remind myself, yes, I'm going to go and do what God asked me to do. So let's review our verse so far. Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, we will worship the Lord our God and obey him. Joshua 24, 24. Okay, uh, like I said, that, that cloud um, of God speaking, I want to remember it's the Bible. So I'm gonna draw kind of like a lowercase m. I didn't quite finish it, but then I'm gonna match that little arc at the top and add a line in the bottom and then do it thicker on the edges and on the bottom and then it looks like a Bible. And that's my Bible to remind me that God speaks and we hear his voice primarily through his word. All right, let's say our verse one more time. You ready? Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, we will worship the Lord our God and obey him. Joshua 24, 24. Now you can copy out the verse in this white place that we left on your picture. Just write out the verse right there. Let's say it one more time. Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, we will worship the Lord our God and obey him. Joshua 24, 24. We will now have the completion call. I will give you a portion of a verse of scripture. If you know the entire verse and reference, step forward. Then I'll ask you to give the verse and the reference, and we'll do that together as a practice. So the people said to Joshua, start. Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, we will worship the Lord our God and obey him. Joshua 24, 24. We will now have the quotation call. I will give the reference of a verse. If you know the verse, step forward. Then give the verse and the reference, and we'll do that together as a practice. Joshua 24, 24. Start. Joshua 24, 24. 
Joshua 24, 24. So the people said to Joshua, We will worship the Lord our God and obey Him. Joshua 24, 24. Thanks for listening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Get your Bible drill study guide at parentroadsmen.com. See you next time.